attention. Okay, sprinkle it well with cinnamon. And you can use whatever kind of cinnamon you want. This one happens to be extra fancy Vietnamese cassia. Carinchy cinnamon is good too. Okay, so you got it well sprinkled with cinnamon and then you're going to start rolling it. And just start at one of the ends and keep rolling it in and squeezing it so that it gets really nice and tight. Keep kind of tucking those ends in. When you get to the very end, you want to take the whole row of the very last piece and pinch it so that it doesn't come apart. And then what normally happens is you have part of your roll will be a little bigger than the other, so you can kind of pull on it or push on the other end and make them all about the same size. And then you can either take a piece of thread and cut these or you can cut them with a sharp knife. And you want to make them all about the same thickness. So they kind of look like this. They're going to look like a cinnamon roll. And you can flatten them out just a little bit and start putting them on top of your cream, on top of your cream and brown sugar. And these are going to take a little bit longer to raise because they're sitting on top of cold cream. So you want to let them raise till they're pretty good sized before you bake them. And then we'll tell you after we get them baked, we'll show them to you and let you know what we do then.